Hi everyone, so in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to explain to you about Planck's quantum theory, which is 9.1, chapter 9. So number one, we have two theory of for, for Planck's quantum theory. Number one is, he says that electromagnetic energy is in a form of discrete packs of energy called quantum of energy. So apa yang dia nak cakap, dia kata energy, dia tak boleh continuous. Ke, dulu uh, classical theory kata, uh, energy akan continuous So daripada rendah ke tinggi Continuous Tak ada masalah Okay E1 kepada E N Kita tak tahu E berapa So tetapi turns out Sebenarnya uh, energy tu uh, Comes in a packs of energy Called in a pack 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 Small packs of energy And it's called quantum of energy It is basically we can see It's like staircase lah Bentuk dia macam staircase So kita ada E1 And then E2 E3 And so on and so forth Di mana um, In between tu Kita takkan ada energy lah Tak semua energy Akan ada values of energy uh, Not all values of energy Are possible So um, In between tu uh, Kita ada gap Yang Dipisahkan oleh H Apa tu H? H ialah Planck's constant Iaitu nilai dia ialah 6.63 kali 10 kuasa negatif 34 joule per second. So, semua ni. Semua ni ada Planck's constant. Okay. And then, number 2. Okay, sampai sini okay. Next, number 2. Dia kata energy of a, energy of the apa tu, quantum of energy tadi is proportional to the frequency. For for So, by what equation? E equationnya ialah E equals to N Number of uh, photon uh, Times uh, HF Or kita boleh kata kita tekan F ni ialah uh, NHC Over lambda okay. So kalau kita nampak dekat sini E is direct proportion to F So basically so Kalau frekuensi tu tinggi Dia membawa energy of a photon yang tinggi Basically like that okay. So kita ambil contoh Kita kata kita, kita ada Lambda red And then kita ada juga Lambda violet Lambda red ialah uh, 680 nanometer Manakala untuk lambda violet Let's say 410 Bukan let's say This is a fact So the frequency of the red Is uh, Equals to 1.47 times 10 to the power of negative 3 hertz While the frequency Of violet Is 2.44 Times 10 to the power of negative 3 hertz so since you can see that since frequency of violet is bigger than frequency of red, it means that the energy that carried by one photon of violet is bigger than one photon of red. That's why in a photoelectric effect, photoelectric effect, effect, we normally use UV light. We don't use uh, infrared. Infrared light, we don't use. This one we use. Because ultraviolet light, to be honest, have lots of energy carried in each of the photon. Okay. Let's take a look at this question. Oh, before that, let's go to the energy. Before we go to the question. Now, uh, we know that Planck's constant is 6.63 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second. Just, this is really, really small. It's too small. So, when we use joule to express uh, the photon of uh, the energy of a quantum of energy, this is not nice. This is too much number. We don't like to use this. And now, we introduce you to another unit, which is electron volt. So, what is electron volt equivalent to what, what how many joule? So, one electron volt is equivalent to uh, 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. 1.6, sorry, 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. Now, let's take a look at the question. And we want to see how are we going to interact. We're going to change each of this. Uh, whether we're going to change from joule to electron volt or from electron volt to joule. Alright, we'll take a look at this one. 
He says, what is the energy of a photon of red light of wavelength 660 nanometer? So, we use equation, you know what? I'm going to change to another marker. What will you use for red? Since we have red light. So, we can use lambda is given that. Okay, E equals to NHC over lambda. Uh, N, berapa N? Sebab dia kata E, so ini adalah 1. H plus constant. Berapa plus constant? Mm, 6.8 is it? Berapa tadi? 6.63. 6.63 kali 10 kuasa negatif 34. Kali dengan C ialah speed of light. 3 kali 10 kuasa 8. Bagikan dengan lambda kita yang diberi ialah 650 kali 10 kuasa negatif 9. Okay, so kita akan dapat jawapan. Mm, 3.06 kali 10 kuasa negatif 19 joule. So kalau kita nak tahu unitnya dekat dalam electron volt, so kita akan bahagikan dengan 1.6 kali 10 kuasa negatif 19 joule. Joule joule cancel kita akan dapat electron volt. So, jawapannya ialah 1.91 electron volt. Yay! <laughs> That's how you do it. Alright, let's take a look at B. How are you going to do this? To do this? What is the wavelength of a photon of energy 2.4 electron volt? So, kita ada energy 2.40 electron volt. Sekali lagi, kita akan gunakan equation ni. Tapi nampaknya, kita kena tukar dia dalam bentuk joule dulu baru kita boleh dapat uh, guna masuk dekat dalam equation ni. So, kita akan tukar daripada 2.4 electron volt, kita akan tukar jadi joule. So, apa yang kita akan buat ialah uh, 2.40 ni, kita kali dengan 1.6 kali 10 kuasa negatif 19 joule. So, kita akan dapat 3.84 kali 10 kuasa negatif 19 joule. Dan baru kita masukkan dekat dalam equation kita, E equals to NHC over lambda equals to N berapa banyak photon ni? Oh, uh. so kita darab dengan 1. H kita ialah plus constant 6.63 kali 10 kuasa negatif 34 kalikan dengan speed of light 3 times centripetal of 8 divided by our new energy in, in joule. 3.84 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and we're going to get 5.18 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meter. That's it. So I hope you can understand chapter 9, subtopic 1.9, 9.1, uh, 9 plus quantum theory. Thank you.